I just woke up and saw Islands had the Patrick Star update, so in this video I'll be showing everything in this new update, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you haven't yet for more guides on Islands and like the video. So the update logs just say Patrick Star and his family have appeared in Islands, visit Patrick and the hub to complete quests and unlock limited edition items. This theme is kind of like the fishing festival event, but I haven't checked it out yet, so let's just go to the hub. So I'm gonna go through this portal, and then it's gonna teleport me to the hub, then it's spawning me okay it just spawned me off the map for some reason and then i have to go to the hub again so let's just go through the portal a second time and now we are in the hub so there's this patrick star area part of the hub has become a sand and there's a poster for a movie just like in the witches event so then there's patrick right here can we talk to him oh we can Hi, it's Holly Anthrick. I am Patrick. Hi, my family and I are visiting the hub. We lost a lot of stuff, though. Offer help? Well, thanks. Help my family members find their stuff, and I'll give you a prize on it. So we need to exit Patrick's house and then talk to Patrick's family. So there's one right here near the baker. So talk, and then he says, up for a hike. I dropped a big stack of pancakes up on the mountain on it so there are arrows we just need to follow the arrows then we're gonna get some pancakes so there's this pathway and then another arrow right here so let's just keep going and it looks like the pathway just goes down around this mountain then there's another path that goes up here so then once we go to the very top there are some pancakes so pancakes Hold F to pick up, and we got pancakes. Next is the person by the lake, so just keep going forward past Cecil, and there's going to be a squid. So F to talk. There's a box of something in the lake, and I need you to find it, so we need to go inside of the lake. There are more arrows pointing to where we need to go. So there's an arrow to go this way inside of the lake, and then this is it. So go to the end of the lake, and then hold F to pick up. And now we have two of the items. For the third person, you want to go past the lake, and then there's gonna be another sand area. All of the NPCs have sand around them. So now there's Grand the Pat, and we need to talk to him. He's gonna say, would you help me fetch my cookies? They're on that island. So now there are arrows. We need to do this small obstacle course. Looks very easy. So just jump on those, and then F to get the cookies. Now I already see the last sand area, it's over there, so jump down from this island, and then just walk straight forward until you reach it. So let's just continue going this way, go past the mine, and then go over here where there's another person. So let's just keep walking, and now F to talk. And then, I think I lost my orange juice in that cave, could you find it for me on it? And then there are more arrows, so let's go inside this cave. So there are also some lanterns, like, around the Spear Island area. Okay, I think this was the wrong way, don't go left. Whenever you're going this way, turn the right, because this is the better way. Okay, now pick this up. And then you're going to get the last item. Now let's return to Patrick. So just escape the cave and then go back to Patrick's area, which is going to be straight forward from the cave. And so let's just talk to Patrick again right here. Then he is going to say, oh wow, thanks, have this for helping. Take gift. And we got one Patrick Star Trophy and the Patrick Star Show Award. So this looks pretty nice. Let's test it out at my island. So I guess this video is basically how to get Patrick Star's trophy, but I kind of showed the rest of the stuff. So I might do another video just on how to get Patrick Star Trophy. I'm not too sure, but this is just how to get Patrick Star Trophy, basically, and everything in the new update, which, well, this was the only thing. So let's just go back to my island and test this out. So it's loading, and this is the same size as the Witch's Trophy, and it is not off-centered, like, if you place it somewhere, it goes where you place it. The Witch's Trophy, on the other hand, well, it goes to the side for some reason, so if I want to place it right there in the middle, it places to the right, kind of, but this one, it places well, so this is a nice item. I'd say it is going to be worth around, like, 10 million after a long time. So I definitely recommend getting this, because once it becomes an old item and a rare, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. Right now, I'd say it's worth 
200k to 400k it's not that expensive because it's pretty easy to get but i'm pretty sure that's all you can do besides improving patrick's house so if we go inside of patrick's house and then take out avocados then we can just put them in random places like patrick's gonna have some avocados it's gonna be good so there's this thing that says puppet i put avocados inside of it and then this weird thing i don't know what it is i'm putting avocados in it and then we're just gonna put avocados everywhere on the stand yeah so i think that's everything you can do in this event there are a few more things though wait is this transparent yep it is i can put avocados in it and we can see them from the outside that is nice okay so let me know in the comments what you think about this event i think it is pretty good it is kind of small though like there's not that much to do wait can we talk to patrick again like because after you do those few quests then yeah so you can't do anything else he's stuck at level one so after you talk to a few people and find a few things it's over but it still is a pretty good event they made it pretty nice let's see what happens if you talk to other npcs after wait yeah you can't talk to them or never mind it was just loading thanks for helping and you can't really say anything else and for some reason this is stuck on my screen oh no i think when it was laggy it made this completely stuck on my screen can i reset nope you can't actually die anymore in this game so if you have something glitched on your screen that you need to reset to remove then it's gonna stay on your screen so i guess i have to rejoin for this to disappear i'd like to see more events like this in islands maybe even in bed wars but in bed wars they shouldn't add something new that would change the game and go through almost like a kit for an event but maybe they have a special event mode somewhere on the map for a limited time, and that would just be interesting to see. Maybe in that special event mode, they could have completely different stuff that you could buy in the shop. If the developers don't add something that makes everyone quit, then Bed Wars will probably become bigger than Islands was, and that's gonna be very good, early hoping to see that. If they keep doing good updates in Islands, maybe Islands can come back, but it's just too laggy and glitchy. Like, well, it used to be pretty not laggy. Like, the old inventory menu was never laggy at all, but the new one, every time I open it, I get a huge lag spike because I have a lot of items. And anyone else with a whole bunch of items is probably going to have a lag spike too. And when I first went through the portal, it teleported me off the map instead of actually teleporting me to the island hub. So if they fix all of the glitches, and if they do good updates, then it can probably get a lot of players again. Also, I know they have a lot of Robux, so they could put a bit of Robux in the advertisement saying, like, they added something really cool in Islands. And a lot of people that used to play this game or quit a long time ago may rejoin and try it out again if they see the advertisement for it so that's just what i'm thinking if they do that then it will probably get a lot of players again so really hoping to have some pretty cool new updates and islands but that is everything i wanted to mention in this video so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on roblox islands like the video join my discord server linked in the description follow my twitter at telanthric use star code telanthric to support my channel and link in the description is a playlist called a roblox islands guide it has all my helpful islands videos on it so check that out for guides but thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next video